Hello, welcome to Star of the Moon. We're going to be doing a reading for you. This is the Gemini New Moon reading. Let's see if Spirit can give us a heads up on any energies to focus on. Give us some insight, maybe clear up any misunderstandings. So without further ado, let's get into it. I hope everyone's doing well. So I give some more information on what we believe to be the astrology in the sky. You know, I wish I could talk about more about the astrology in our readings, and I do, to a point, for clarification. But really, I do it in the form of posts on our Facebook page around this Gemini new moon. Is uh, It's going to be a solar eclipse. The energies are going to be around for the next six months. And uh, we've been looking at a beautiful aspect for about a month since the Taurus new moon. And the aspect is the wings of a hawk. It's a beautiful aspect that gets energized by our intuition and nonverbal communication. Most importantly, I invite you to check out the do research for yourself. This wings of a hawk aspect was in the Taurus new moon. Now it's in the Gemini new moon, which is coming up tomorrow. But really, uh, it's an invitation from spirit for higher learning. And I strongly suggest you to uh, research the energies. That aspect really gets energized by a quincunx and a semi-sextile. So it really gets energized by our own intuition. So it's really up to you. Energize that aspect on your own. And to start off, we'll, uh, put, we'll pull some two tea leaves for to symbolize the energy of the twins. All right. So these tea leaves has been shuffled. And uh, I like, I definitely like folding them out, which is nice. But sometimes, uh, sometimes we just need a little bit of a change up. So we're going to use the tea bag. It's meant to be a ruined bag, and it still is in some, to some respect, I guess, but uh, it's mainly being used for, for tea leaves, so it's also a tea leaf bag, I guess. It's really handy. Alright, that should be good enough to get a bit of a mix. Okay, what's going on? There's one. Thank you. Some of those aspects, you know, they get energized. They, uh, you know, it's really up to us if to go with the flow of the energies, you know, like T-squares, oppositions, semi-sextiles, and trines. And uh, it's really up to us if we want to go to, with the flow with them or not. But uh, for the wings of a hawk, it's... Uh, you know, they're, they get energized by a quincunx and a semi-sextile. So it's really up to you. It's really up to you if you want to energize that aspect or not. Because only you have your own intuition, right? But we can... Uh, but uh, we did a few posts on our Facebook page and to help people uh, focus their attention on how to energize that aspect and we gave some and we just did a reading wings of a hawk gemini new moon that was our last reading and uh, that gave us some that gave us some uh, more idea on how to energize that aspect all right but it's really, again, it's really up to you. All right. 
bowl. Plenty of material things. That's nice. That's nice to have. And uh, I got some pee going on here. Plenty of material things. Well, thank you. We got a full basket of the material of temporal food. That's nice. That's good for uh, travelers, right? Food is good for us. Plenty of material things. Rose. Romance is in the air. Beautiful. Romance. So these are pretty, <laughs> pretty good cards. If I say, if I don't say so myself, we got a, a full basket of, a full bowl of material things, and we got romance in the air, and uh, we could be uh, picking up uh, Venus's energy right here. In the rose, but a rose does have a thorn. But overall, rose is a beautiful energy. It's a flower, but uh, it does have a thorn thorn something to watch out for overall the rose is uh gives us a beautiful average overall though all right so uh this i'm gonna go with the real thing here i've been using the traveler's pocket size tarot as some uh, as a default because it's really handy they're really handy they're really those cards really pop out and they're really easy to shuffle so i've been using them a lot but sometimes you just got to go with the real thing all right so this we're gonna be doing something different from the whispering rose i love the whispering rose but uh let's change it up a little bit do something very similar like a simple version of the mystic nine so we're going to get a line of organization right here and uh, an energy that spirit might want us to pay attention to maybe go towards and an energy that is out of our control and hopefully these energies can help us give us another idea on the gemini new moon energies some more insight but really really i think this reading could be overage because that last reading we did gave us a lot of insight on what could be coming up. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. All right, so this one, we're going to get Spirit's help. Thank you, Spirit. They're going to give us a sign, and then we're going to pull the top five, top five cards. Oh, there's Venus. Speak of... Uh, there's the real deal right there. <laughs> the Empress. Yeah, there's Venus's energy right there. She pops out. She's definitely not afraid to make herself known. All right, thank you, Venus. All right, you know what? Let's, uh... It says Venus is part of that big aspect. Let's, let's leave her energy out there. All right, thank you, Venus. All right, so the top five cards here... Here, 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 and here. Sometimes you just got to go with the real deal here. All right. And uh, we finally got a compliment of our tea. Wow, that's beautiful. We got China Oolong to represent Earth. Autumn fire. That's pretty obvious. Fire. And now we have Druid magic tea to represent air and that's what we got brewed to represent to symbolize to bring down gemini's air energy and then we got earl gray as water so now we have a full complement of tea that represents all of the signs here which is beautiful all right let's uh so this is organization this is in the realm of what we have in our control okay and this is really basically at the center of our being right here. Okay, so these three energies are 
in our control, something that we can master, okay? This is something that is not out of, that, that is not in our control, that is out of our control. Something that may, maybe spirit wants us to pay attention to, maybe move towards, okay? All right. Something, the Eight of Cups, leave tragedy behind. There it is. But uh, another way of looking at this card, this card, this is the Eight of Cups. Okay, look at that energy. This, someone is moving away from, from these cups, from these old energies, okay? And they literally stepped over like a ravine or like a river to get to the other side. So it's something major. You know, beautiful too. Wow. We got uh, the new moon. <laughs> the new moon. There's a new moon right there that symbolizes a new moon. It's like a solar eclipse right there. Leave tragedy behind. That's the big message for the Eight of Cups. But also, uh, the Eight of Cups vibrates to the number eight. The number eight is overall happiness and strength. So, so uh, leave tragedy behind for our overall happiness. And you know what? It could take some emotional strength to do that. This person is not none the worse for wear for doing that. And uh, emotions, they can tie us down and they become like real to us. It is just something that could be really real for us. But really, really they are, they, their uh, tragedy can be left behind. Be left behind in a cup. All right. So uh, some more cards will reveal what's going on. So what's another card? What's another uh, energy that's in our control? This is the star. Beautiful. This is a ruled by Aquarius. Wow. A well-timed. That was one of the energies that we picked up when we uh, did some meditating and a bit of analyzing about the energies of the wings of a hawk. And one of them is a well-timed entrance and a well-timed revolution. This is a, this could be a well-timed entrance, the star. Beautiful. This could be something about Venus as well. Venus's energy is going to be in Cancer. Venus is going to, along with Chiron, Venus is going to help us express ourselves. And how do we really express ourselves? How do we really, truly express our true selves? By leaving tragedy behind, right? going for something new reach for uh, leave behind the old reach for the new this is it right that's uh, part of uh, the mysticism of Gemini the Celtics the Celt Celtic mysticism of throwing their sword in the water a sword could be an idea, right? It could be throwing an old idea, something old in the water, something like this, right? For something new. A new version of ourselves right here. Wow, beautiful. All right, so what is not in our control? You no, know, there is. There's got to be, there's a lot of... 
there's a lot, there's an energy of, you know, a lot of things are not in our control. And uh, it's nice to be aware of them. This is the Ten of Pentacles. Something is not in our control. The Ten of Pentacles. There's a cycle going on. This represents a cycle, a big cycle in our in in our lives. This may be a cycle that society is going through. That's not in our control. And there's something, you know, there's something about our soul journey too. There's something, there's a lot of elements in our soul journey that we're not in control of. So this could be something that's coming up in our soul journey that we have no control over. It's a cycle in our lives. There's a lot of parts in our soul journey that we have no control over. Spirit has control over it. that uh, we may feel like we're being caught up in a wave almost right here this is what it's, this is telling me now this is the pentacles but but uh, in general I'm reading this as more in a general type of sense so water is going to be playing out there's a lot of water Water here, water here. There's a little bit of water here. There's some water in Venus's uh, energy. So, uh, this is, as the cards are right now, this is telling me that uh, find some middle ground between tragedy and a new sense of self. We're leaving this totally behind. And what's something... What's popping up here? Oh my gosh, this is... Yeah. See? Something about a soul journey. <laughs> this is the second time. This is Gemini. This is the lovers. Now, this is definitely something where spirit is leading the twins energy to the lovers because this lovers card is ruled by Gemini. And this is the second time it's come up. Not in our last reading. Oh, you know what? Yeah, this came up in the Gemini birthday reading in the second decante. Yeah, see? So this is someone's soul journey right here. Spirit is leading us, someone, in a major cycle like this. This is actually, this came up in Gemini's birthday reading as well this is a cycle and this is something that may not be in our control totally this is where spirit comes in okay this is this is unbelievable this just came up again the lovers hope that uh, comes into focus for you sometimes it does sometimes it does most times it does I just leave it up there all right so there it is and there's the ten of ten of Pentacles now this is a Pentacles energy Pentacles is material yeah plenty of material things that's for sure right here plenty of material things maybe uh, 
that has to do with that. But uh, I'm getting the feeling that it's mainly in a general type of meaning where it's a cycle, where it's a peak, where it's literally a peak in someone's life. In, well, in someone's soul journey, obviously something. Stepping into a new self. This is another major arcana card. Major arcana card here and here. There's the Venus's energy right there. All right. So what's what's in the center of our being? The Page of Wands. Wow. This is a step outside of the norm. Fire energy. This is a uh, Gemini's teammate coming in, Sagittarius. So there's something new and stepping outside of the norm into the Page of Wands. One step outside of the norm. This is very uh, optimistic and enthusiastic. Conviviality, for sure. And this one. Yeah, this is one that's got the lizard as well on his cloak. And a lizard stands for a clear vision. So something like this is in our control for sure. We can leave tragedy behind. That's totally within our control. And we can step into a new version of ourselves right here, into the star. That's definitely a bold step outwards. This is leaving tragedy behind, and this is a bold step outwards as our authentic selves right here. And uh, definitely that's part of uh, the wings of a hawk and Gemini new moon is... Uh, you know, there's a, we get the feeling that it's a well-timed and dignified entrance and revolution. So this could be a well and dignified entrance right here. This is a one bold step outside. Actually, these two cars are right here. So, uh, so these two cars helped energize the Page of Wands. And what's this? What was this position? This is where spirit want us to pay attention to. Perhaps wanting us to move towards. That was in this position, okay? And what's that? That's like the lovers. That's a divine union. That's someone's soul journey. This is uh, uh, this is actually a combination of uh, Gemini's birthday reading and the last reading we did. So if you haven't already, check out uh, second the Conte birthday reading for Gemini. Also. Uh, Check your moon signs as well. We got three videos up for the moon signs. We got Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. So if your moon signs are either of those three, then check it out. This is, uh, I'm stunned. This, this, and this. I'm not surprised about this, but I'm stunned with this. 
beautiful and then the empress shows up as herself in a big way and she's going to help with her energy to help unify and make two different energies work together right here right here all right oh that was quick all right this is going to be the kim crons this is going to be the kim crons let's check out uh let's see if uh Here's a, here's a star right here, okay? I'm looking at that star symbol. Okay? It symbolizes guidance. Within a reading, the appearance of stars in the spread indicates that the sitter could be experiencing some turmoil in their life at the moment. Their life seems to be a little topsy-turvy right now, causing them some confusion the star symbol deals with shedding some light into their life they must focus on one problem at a time and deal with it moving on to the next problem and dealing with that and so on and so on there is light at the end of the tunnel but the illumination of that light comes from within there it is yeah there is there is light at the end of the tunnel, but the illumination of that light comes from within. <coughs> and that's been a that's been a huge message from spirit and from heart of the moon is uh, tapping into our own inner light. And something like this, like staying in tragedy, can help. Well, can cause cause us to be confused in this type of energy okay if we leave tragedy behind it can clear it can clear our heads and our emotions and come into a new emotional body but that again that comes from within that, that takes some spiritual strength you know and we uh we're having some good thoughts around that for you, for sure. Spirit is. And us too. Getting some, tapping into uh, your inner strength, your inner, uh, your emotional strength to leave tragedy behind and step into a new version of yourself okay but again that comes from your own inner light we definitely could use some inspiration and guidance from above but we're the vessel right we're we're the vessel we have to do it ourselves and we're counting on you that you can do it With help from spirit, of course. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's what uh, the star was uh, speaking to me a little bit. All right. So we have um, the Kim Cron's deck for an overall feeling. Thank you, spirit.
This could be a cycle. Okay. Two cars pop out. Gemini's two. Two cars pop out. Okay, we'll we'll do that. We can handle that. All right. Mm, very good. Yeah, that uh, China oolong. It's got a real subtle taste, but it has an earthy taste. It's really a. I really love it. And this Druid Magic Tea is the same thing. It's got a real subtle taste, but it's really light and it's flavorful. So it's really kind of airy. So that's what that's why I picked it as uh, as tea that represents air, that symbolizes air, that brings down the air energy. It's got a subtle taste, but it's really flavorful and light. going on here lizard that lizard pops up creativity tapping into our creativity that's something about the page of wands as well that uh like I, guess, like I said before, check out the, you have to do some research on your own or check out our Facebook page. We've mentioned some things about the South, the North and South nodes, but the way they are now, they're exalted. So, uh, it's a beautiful time to shed the old and go with the new. It's just the way they are right now. And uh, that lizard has come up, comes up a lot. Has been coming up a lot in the Gemini and Sagittarius readings. Okay, and that symbolizes a clear vision. Part of our uh, part of the south, north and south nodes uh, is reconciling our past with the present, with going forward, with a new sense of self. You know, the south node uh, represents things in our past, and the north node symbolizes the way forward, which is here. Actually, these three cards right here. Okay, and that's part of uh, having getting a clear vision. A spiritual dragon symbolizes a clear vision. That'll that all helps to. Uh, clear our past, things from the past. And there may be something hidden, some knowledge from our past as well. So it really helps to energize our intuition and clear our heads. And when we have, uh, when we, when that happens, we have a clear vision on the way forward, right here with a new sense of self like emotional body from here tap into uh, our creativity easier now all these types of energies are all available to us but it's just a matter of uh, you know getting making the flow of energy uh, more easier right and, and to do that starts with uh here closing the chapters on things right that's helped to that helps to create a flow of energy and then we have the lizard right here the lizard is coming up the lizard comes up there's a lot about creativity with the lizard for sure but if you uh if you notice the, the background symbolizes the spiritual universe, something, an energy that is not in our control, something like this, right? This is spirit, because look, look at the background in the, in the lizard. They're, uh, they're almost, they, they blend in with each other. So this is the, the background, this right here symbolizes things that are, that are not in our control, like, the spiritual world controls this, right? And it's like it's like this. It's like 
It is. It's like for this lizard, is we're cut up in this wave. This wave, this background wave right here. Like this. This is the wave. We're, this is the wave that we're cut up in, that we have no control over. It's spirit's control. Something like this. Like, this is us. This is, uh, you know, this is the page of wands. Or you. Or us, right? This is the page of wands cut up in something that's not in its control, cut up in this wave. Something very similar to this lizard. This lizard is also caught up in this wave in the background. But they're working. But uh, these colors, they blend in with each other. So they're working with each other. Same with here. Same with the lovers. It's like a, like a divine union, like a soul, soul call, a soul journey, working with spirit. So this is something very, when the lizard comes, comes out, that's what always reminds me of. If we're having that discussion about uh, just trusting and flowing with the energies and maybe, uh, you know, get caught up in this wave. It seems like the, the lizard pops up and that's what it is. All right, what's this? The fox. This is a beautiful energy. This is earth energy. And uh, yeah, this is a bold step outwards. The fox. The fox is a beautiful energy. There's there's the new uh, new sense of self right here. The fox has, has a beautiful coat. And that's what I think about mainly when I think about the fox. You know. And, uh, you know, I think the Lord in the scriptures, I think the Lord uh, calls Herod uh, that old fox. And, you know, obviously I can't, uh, I don't, we don't know exactly what he meant when he said that about Herod. But I take it as, uh, when I think of the fox energy, I think of the fox as a thief. <laughs> uh, I think... The energy of slyness should go with the energy of the coyote. If there's an energy that deserves sly, it's the coyote. This is a thief. In my experience with the fox, it's a thief. But it has a beautiful coat. It's beautiful. It has a beautiful coat and tail. So really, it looks good on the outside. So I think... The way I'm getting, when the Lord was referring to Herod as a thief, was the old fox, it was Herod was trying to, you know, he was trying to do that. He was trying to uh, steal something away from Earth. Right? Okay. But in this spot... In this spot, and there it is. There's a like a duality of uh, Gemini, of a thief, and uh, of and looking good as well. Gemini has to do definitely has to do this duality, and I think part of that duality is. Right there. There's the duality right there, right? Uh, but it's... It's mainly learning about that energy and turning... Turning something into a blessing. And that's the Gemini's energy. And Gemini's energy can do it in a blink of an eye. Just like that.
So uh, this is stepping out. Feeling good. Feeling good on the inside, right here, and on the outside. Right? And getting caught up. And getting caught up. And this is definitely in our control. And getting, and like I said, like we said before, trusting and having faith and going with the flow of the energies. Right here. Trusting and then having faith of going with the flow of the energies. This is something in our control, leaving tragedy behind, stepping out into a new emotional body and a new sense of self, going with the flow, right here. Trusting in a higher power and going with the flow of energies. Having faith that we have control over us, our own energy, right here. And having faith and that there's a higher power of, and there's, there is something, there's something to say about going with the flow of energies, right? And stepping out, side, and a new sense of our inner and outer worlds of ourselves. Beautiful. And definitely that's something, Venus's energy can do that. Having self-love, if you have self-love, you can have, uh, love the world around us as well you know she appreciates her she appreciates herself and the world around her and she can reconcile all these desperate energies and make them work beautiful and let's leave it at that well this has been thank you spirit for the cards Thank you for that sign for that. Well, this has been the Gemini New Moon reading in and around the solar eclipse and in and around the wings of a hawk aspect. Check it out for yourself. We strongly suggest do some research on the wings of a hawk, especially the energies in and around Gemini New Moon. But you can also... Uh, do some back checking as well to the Taurus new moon. All right. Thanks, spirit. Take care.